Strange indeed are the ways of diplomacy. Prime Minister Ehud Barak of Israel can meet the Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat and meet several times, but their respective ambassadors in New Delhi will not. It is not as illogical as it may seem, because Israel does not yet recognize the Palestinian state, and therefore the difficulty that the Israeli ambassador has in meeting the Palestinian ambassador on a formal basis. Welcome to the show, Haim. Thank you. Ambassador, isn't it strange that Prime Minister Barak can meet Yasser Arafat and meet him several times, but you cannot meet the Palestinian ambassador in New Delhi? Ambassadors represent countries. Since I don't know if there is no country called Palestine, so I don't think that ambassador should be called, maybe a different name, representative of a certain organization. If we start recognizing all those movements that call themselves national, we'll have thousands and thousands of ambassadors in New Delhi. But, uh, I mean, as I said, Arafat and uh, Barak can meet. You can't. Well, probably in due time we'll meet too. Do you see the Palestinian state being recognized? That's a possibility, one of the possibilities which will come out, out of the result of this final status that we are talking, and we're hopeful that until September next year we'll reach an agreement on this. But now in Y2 you have agreed, the Palestinians have agreed that they will control terrorism. Yeah, let's pray for it, hopefully so. Do you think they can? 100% no one can. But, I mean, you seem to imply that they control Hamas, do they? No. No, I'm not, we are not saying that they control Hamas. What we are asking is 100% in the war to stop terrorism. No one can stop it 100%, but to try to do their most, this is what we are asking for. Barak's position is that sovereignty over Jerusalem is not negotiable. And, but then what is the final status discussion in September 2000? What will they be about in that case? There are many issues left for this final status. For including example, Jerusalem. Including Jerusalem, borders, how the uh, territories will be uh, defined, uh, what kind of status it will have, uh, refugees, water, and Jerusalem. So one of the problems is Jerusalem, and, but I, I tend to believe that eventually a solution will be found. Have you seen Chandigarh as a model, where both Punjab and Haryana have a capital in Chandigarh? Do you see that as a model? No, I don't think so. I don't think that this will be, because there's in Israel a consensus that Jerusalem will be never divided. Do, are you optimistic about the final status talk? in September 2000? About the date, it will be difficult to say, but I think I have told you many, many times that this process is irreversible. There is no way to go back. There will be ups and downs, but I don't have a doubt, and I dealt with the Arab world, as you know, for three, four decades. I don't have a doubt that this, this process is irreversible. When is the Prime Minister uh, Barak coming to India? Well, we're hoping that early next year, early next year. and uh, in few, after the election, we'll start talking about a possible date. I hope, but before that, your president will go to Israel. As you remember, our president was here three years ago. Thank you, Haim. Thank you, Haim. And now to get the other end of the story, we speak to the Palestinian ambassador. Welcome to the show, Khalid. I was talking to the Israeli ambassador. It's a very interesting point that Ehud Barak and Yasser Arafat can talk and meet and meet several times over, but yet the ambassador for Israel cannot meet the ambassador for Palestine in New Delhi. Well, it is uh, unfortunate. It is uh, sad because uh, at least if we, our leaders are meeting, I think at least we can uh, build sort of human relationship. One of the 
uh, items still unresolved on the agenda uh, between uh, the Palestinians and the Israelis that Israel has not yet recognized the state of Palestine. There is a recognized embassy of the state of Palestine. It's in the diplomatic list. It has diplomatic relations with the Republic of India. In Delhi, but not in Israel. Well, in Israel, we are, I am not in Israel. I am not in Tel Aviv. I am in the capital of the Republic of India. And in this, connection, in this connection, he cannot object and he cannot deny the right of the state of Palestine and the embassy and the ambassador in another state. The, the impression I get is that there, you are under pressure to somehow rein in this militancy and terrorism. Uh, do you think uh, the Palestinians will be able to do that? Well, I think to a great extent. We have managed this thing. We have controlled this thing. If you agree to rein in violence and militancy and terrorism, then you are almost admitting that you have some kind of a control and some kind of a linkage with Hamas. No, 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 no. There is, there is, there is, a, 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 you know, a clear line between the responsibility of the state in uh, controlling law and order and in taking in its hand law and order against whoever you see may try to break this law and order which should not mean and should not be interpreted that there is an understanding with a militant group here and there how optimistic are you that the final status talks will take place in september 2000 and that the issue of jerusalem on which the israelis say that that is not negotiable how well, do you see how do you see light at the end of this tunnel? Mind you, 13 September 99 is the uh, anniversary of the signing, the sixth anniversary of the signing of the Oslo Accord, which has a deadline of five years. Now we are five and a half years, and Oslo is not implemented. Now, we do hope that by September 2000, we will be able to reach an, an understanding, a final agreement, you have been here 13 years. Have you taken a look at Chandigarh as some kind of a model? Chandigarh is the capital for Punjab. It is the capital for Haryana. Is that a good model for Jerusalem? Well, let me uh, state that President Arafat has reiterated more than once this uh, example of Chandigarh for, as a capital for two states to be a model for a settlement of Jerusalem. You know, he has said it in London, he has said it in Berlin, he has said it in the United States, that we can make Jerusalem a state, a, a capital for both states. But there is a right for the Palestinian people in Jerusalem, and we are determined to preserve this part. Thank you very much. Okay.